My name is Oxy. Let me tell you the breathtaking story of my life. My photo album's right over there, with some memories. It all started one day when I was floating along outside, bonded to another oxygen atom. Together we made a molecule of O2, common oxygen gas. All of a sudden, I was pulled into a huge cave. I had heard about this occurrence. A legendary trachea had pulled me into its depths. This dark tunnel led to the lungs, which were being expanded by the diaphragm muscle and sucking me in. But soon it split in two. I ended up going on the left side, and I knew that after this split, I was in a bronchus. Then the passage split again and again, and I was in the bronchioles. They got narrower and narrower until, finally, I arrived in an alveolus. This was as far as any had gone and come back to tell the tale, and I was a bit nervous, having no idea what was coming next. Hello! I am your guide through the body today. Hop on! I'm a red blood cell, and there should be a nice comfy hemoglobin protein back there to carry you. As the red blood cell explained, we went through capillaries, the tiny blood vessels that I was diffused into from the alveolus, venules, the larger blood vessels, and veins, larger than both of them. The venules and veins only went to the heart, but capillaries didn't necessarily do this. The heart was a fascinating location. We entered the left atrium, flowed into the left ventricle, then, as it contracted, were shot with terrific force out into an artery. Arteries are about the same size as veins, except they go away from the heart. Before we got much farther, something changed. The heart rate went up. It was pumping faster. I asked my red blood cell what was happening. All of the cells need for oxygen has increased. Some change in the physical activity of the body has made the cells start using energy faster than they're getting it. And the heart is compensating. I can't let you off yet. The walls of the arteries are too thick. Wait until we get to a capillary. Well, we rushed through arteries and arterioles, the equivalents of venules, and eventually found ourselves almost single file with the other red blood cells. We were in the big toe. The red blood cell let me off there, and I diffused through the thin wall of the capillary through the semi-permeable cell membrane of a muscle cell. Thank goodness you're here! You're a vital part of cellular respiration, the process I use to get energy to perform my function. The next few microseconds were a whirl of confusion, but from what I heard from the cell, I ended up used in the process of creating ATP, the energy storage molecule, for all cells. I was separated from my companion and bonded to two hydrogen atoms to create water, a waste product of cellular respiration. Yep. Soon we were back in the bloodstream, racing back towards the heart through capillaries, venules, and veins. This time we were pumped through the right atrium and then the right ventricle, and in a few seconds we were back in alveolus. The diaphragm pushed on the lungs and we were on our way out of the body. 